Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, saints of God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, it is Take Charge Tuesday. Yes, Take Charge Tuesday, July the 28th, 2020. And are we yet alive to see each other's faces? Well, you can see my face. I can't see your face, but you get the point. <laughs> First and foremost, to my fellowship family, as always, and then to our friends and loved ones who tune in with regularity from near and far. Uh, we bless and thank God for each of you. Uh, we thank you that you tuned in on today. I'm just, as always, wanting uh, to make sure you're okay. Hopefully, you've already done your own self-check and you've evaluated that you're doing okay, all things considered. Uh, after this weekend, God has kept you and we are starting off a brand new week. Blessing God for his favor, his grace, and his mercy. Um, I wanted to follow up with your self-check and make sure that you're doing okay, mind, body, and soul. To that end, as always, I want to share a passage of scripture that will uh, bless us and get us started taking charge of this week. Um, birthed out of Jeremiah chapter 17, I want to share a word. Jeremiah chapter 17, if you have your Bible handy, go ahead and find it with me. If not, take my word for it and then uh, check up on me afterwards. Jeremiah 17, I want to read in your hearing two verses, verses 7 and 8 from the book of Jeremiah. Here it is. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Again, that's Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 7 and 8. And what a mighty word that is, a prophetic word. Uh, and it's interesting because in this particular um, passage, uh, Jeremiah is comparing those who trust God versus those who don't trust God. And when you read the passage itself, you'll, you'll see that. Uh, in the first six verses of the chapter, he's talking about those who don't trust God. Uh, and in the next verses that we read, He's talking about those who do trust God. In fact, the comparison is those who don't trust God are cursed versus those who do trust God who are blessed. And what's interesting is that that was the original promise that God gave the Israelites as they were coming out of Egyptian captivity. I believe it's around Deuteronomy, that 26th chapter, somewhere in there, um, the Lord says, behold, I set before you a blessing and a curse, a blessing if you obey, a curse if you disobey. And here it is. Um, they were always instructed to trust and obey and believe God. And here it is in this text. Jeremiah writes, blessed are those that trust the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Then he goes on to. Uh, share us, with us what's familiar from the Psalms. He says it'd be, it'd be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's an interesting passage because saints of God, when you trust God, uh, it doesn't matter what the surrounding circumstances may be. Literally, in this eighth verse, he says, "He shall be as a tree planted by waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river." and shall not see when he cometh. Uh, it, it's the picture of a tree in the desert uh, with heat around, but the tree is still blossoming because it's drawing from some nourishment that's much deeper than the surroundings. Let me say this, child of God, when you trust God, uh, your roots are much, much deeper than your surroundings. 
In other words, no matter what's going on around you, uh, it does not uh, cause you to become unrooted or ungrounded because you're grounded in a trust of God uh, that is so deep that you trust him even when you can't trace him. In other words, even when you can't see how God is going to do what God has promised to do, you believe him, you trust him, you follow after him. You don't yield uh, to go another way. Uh, you don't throw in the towel. You don't give up. Your trust and your belief in God is so deep uh, that no matter what's happening around you, even in a desert place, in dry situations, you're able to be satiated because of your relationship of trust with your God. Blessed, Jeremiah said, is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Let me just say this and we're done for this morning. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus's blood and his righteousness. The songwriter says, I dare not trust the sweetest frame but wholly lean on Jesus's name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, for all other ground is sinking sand. Listen, I want to encourage each of us as we take charge today on Take Charge Tuesday, take charge of your week, trusting in God, even when you can't trace him. Walk by faith, not by sight. That's all I got for us this morning. Hopefully, prayerfully, that'll bless you and get you started on this uh, week. Let's pray. Father, in the strong and incredible name of Jesus, who is our Christ, we come. Thankful and grateful that we're able once again uh, to experience the richness of another Lord's day. We don't take it lightly, God, nor do we take it for granted because we understand that in this climate in particularly, Every day is a day of thanksgiving. We pray now, God, uh, as we take charge of this week, that you allow us to trust more wholeheartedly in you. Allow us, oh God, uh, the experience of knowing uh, that your track record uh, is unblemished. And the same God that's brought us this far is the same God that's going to take us all the way. And so God, right now, Blessings be upon your people. Blessings be upon all who trust you. I pray, God, uh, that you reward our trust by taking us by our hand and leading us as only you know how. God, hold us in the hollow of your hand as you keep us safe from all matter of hurt, harm, danger, or incident. And when all is said and done, God, we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. For it's in Christ Jesus' name. We pray and ask it all and all of God's people say amen. Of course, as always, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and give you peace as you shelter in place and you shelter in peace until we see each other tomorrow. Be blessed.